Slight issue with the new house. The gutters downspout was overflowing. Something was horribly clogged. I mean, look at that squirting out of there. So I had to dig up all of the flower beds, take out all of the piping, and uh, the French drains were upside down, packed full of dirt, packed. So we fixed that. No more leaks and it is raining. So here's the order of operations of how I wanted my life to go. You save up some money and you buy a house. In doing so, you're able to live there for a couple of years, save up some more money and buy another house. And if you don't cash your chips in right away, you're able to rent the previous house. Thus in turn, building wealth, giving the opportunity to get this, this, and this. But let's say you rent the house to this and he doesn't give you this. That means you could lose all of this. Well, that's the situation I'm currently in. What we all feared, well, at least what I feared because I've been studying up on this stuff forever. And the most important thing whenever it comes to renting property is vet your tenants. You gotta vet your tenants. For my little trailer business, it's not that big of a deal. If the trailer's wasted, who cares? It's a $3,000 trailer down the drain. Not that big of a deal, it's not gonna ruin my life. But a $230,000 house uh, getting foreclosed on, that would wreck anyone's credit uh, and just be a, a huge misstep losing that property. I mean, it, it would all be for nothing, all this hard work for nothing. So what I got right here, mailing out the pay or quit notice. That is about as close as you can get to filing for eviction as you can get. We are two months without rent, so I'm way behind, way behind on calling this guy out on, uh, on what needed to be done. Uh, over a month ago. I mean, it's, this the way that this is supposed to go, life has just been so chaotic lately with the new house and, and so many other things going on with the channel. You're supposed to file for eviction, like you're supposed to mail out the pair equip notice like right away and then file for eviction like a week later just to get it on the court docket uh, because you gotta save your court date. It takes forever to get these things through the court system. And if this thing goes how it does, because the pair equip notice is essentially like, we are going to kick you out if you don't pay. This should have been done long ago, so I know long time landlords have been through this or know what I'm talking about and think I'm an idiot because I am, because this should have been done so long ago. Uh, so we're driving to the house now. I'm gonna drop this off in the mailbox to guarantee that it was given to uh, the tenant themselves. Um, but we have not received a penny other than the security deposit and first month's rent. So this is where stuff gets real, man. This is, mm, man. It's like running a business essentially. It's not nearly as intense. I'm not trying to be like, I am I am a big business owner here, but man, this is like having a, a, a part of your business and your customer's not paying. So that sucks because this guy's got a job. He's gainfully employed. You son of a bitch. Anyway, sorry about that. That was not the tenant uh, calling to say that he had my rent ready for him. Uh, this is a different day now. We had some stuff come up. Anyway, got the letter. I am here at the rental property and he is not home. He's very difficult to get in contact with. Uh, the communication at the beginning was very uh, good. It was good communication, uh, just a lot of excuses saying, having trouble at work, there's stuff going wrong here, uh, the wife just lost her job. So I definitely wanna show compassion with these people. Like I don't wanna be already just in the trenches here fighting with uh, new tenants. I knew this would happen at some point, I was really hoping it wouldn't be the first person I rent my house to, uh, and I really was hoping it wouldn't be during the first month. Like, it's just the worst case scenario. So, we're here at the home. Uh, I am dropping off the pay or quit notice, and I'm also going to mail one out because I don't know. I'm pretty sure you're just supposed to mail it out that way you have accountability. I, I don't know how any of this works, man. I am going into this totally blind. I definitely love my first home. It sucks that it's being sort of lived in for free. We're almost to the point now where we're going to go on three months of rent. Uh, and this is like squatting at this point. But at the end of the day here, uh, if the rent doesn't come through, then I'm also faced with the fact that if he does pay, uh, what what do I do then? Do I evict him still? Because I mean, this is this is not a good start. You miss two months of rent and then also are impossible to get in contact with over the past two weeks. So I think that no matter what happens here, we have to go through with the eviction process. I got to find a new tenant. This is too irresponsible way too quickly. And then the flip side is, how good is he taking care of the property? I mean, he's only been here for two months. Is the place destroyed? I don't know. I can't go in there. Like whenever a tenant signs a lease and, and they get to go to the, uh, they own the house essentially, like for the time being, that is their private property. I can't go and barge in through the door. It's against the law and rightfully so. You should have peace and privacy even though you're renting the place. Like that's your home, your, your docile. So I can't go in there and even check up on the place. And I'm good friends with uh, the neighbor next door here. He's been keeping an eye on things for me, just like getting back to me. He said they had like a big party. No big deal. Of course you can do that. Uh, but that was at the very beginning. And since then, it has been a lot of shysty characters going in and out, which I cannot make any assumptions, but a person can make an educated guess. And from the details that I've heard, it sounds like drugs are moving in and out of the, the home. So just one more reason to get this, get this out of here. Face value, 
The family seemed great. Uh, I mean, they have kids for God's sakes. You think you're safe in that aspect. You're not going to be selling drugs or, or doing anything like that whenever there's kids around. Uh, but I, the world is a crazy place. And at the time, they were both gamefully employed. I contacted both of their employers. Both made enough money. Both were in good standing at their jobs. Apparently, the wife lost her job. But even on his income alone, from what he showed him, and whenever I called his job and verified that the income he was making was the income that he's making, uh, is, is more than enough to comfortably afford this rent and groceries and, and car bills, anything like that. Even in this crazy day and age, he makes enough money to do that. So uh, time will tell here, but... I will see what happens now after uh, he reads this and gets back to me. If not, we're going to court. It's that simple. Regardless, we're probably going to court anyway because it's it's uh, too late, man. We gotta we gotta get the ball rolling here. Start making money on this place because right now I'm losing money and we're falling behind and we're getting dangerously close because even though this home's way cheaper than my new one, I, I cannot afford the mortgage for this. I've had to foot the bill for the mortgage for the past two months on this place. So let's go mail this out. Oh yeah, baby, a little bit of misfortune on my end, but how about changing your life with the dual giveaway that ends in one day for the C6 Corvette and the Cadillac Blackwing. Times 25 entries right now for every dollar spent. All you gotta do is head to the website, buy any products from 717supply.com and you're automatically entered to win. For the gorgeous Blackwing, this thing is so much fun to drive. Even if you don't keep it and you sell it for some cash, it's worth it just to say you've driven it once. And you also get entered to win this pretty slick C6 Corvette, which is also a ton of fun to drive. Times 25 entries for every dollar spent for both of these vehicles plus the cash bonus. The website has gotten a huge restock on all of its items, so pretty much anything you could ask for is in in stock but it's not going to stay that way so now is a great time to enter this is our shortest dual giveaway that we have ever done so entries are very low increasing your odds to win i would love for one of my viewers to win as they have done in the past my audience is small and they've won before let me change your life where i could potentially hand you the keys to both of these vehicles and the stack of bonus money change your life in like three clicks thank you guys so much for the support and good luck Literally stepping out of the uh, the Urus for the ad that I just filmed. This is the same exact clip, no difference. Because listen, go back and watch like thirty seconds, not even just two seconds. Of that ad doesn't my voice sound exactly the same? And right now for the CTSV Blackwing giveaway, it sounds exactly the same. I had to use this Urus, the most expensive sound booth in the world, because my voice is a little echoey out here. So yeah, we're evicting uh, John Smith here. That's not his real name, but I, I have compassion, man. I feel bad for a family that's in. It's gonna be in dire straits. You're gonna be out on the streets. I don't enjoy that. This is terrible. But, and I also don't want it to sound like, I need my money, I better get paid. I can't foot the bill for both mortgages. This is not how the world works. Like, I'm sorry. And once drugs are involved, which it seems like they are, I kind of lose a little bit of sympathy. You shouldn't be doing or selling drugs whenever you have kids. I know people have addictions and stuff like that, and I feel bad, but man, you gotta, at some point in life, no matter what situation you're in, you gotta put your kids first. And you doing something like this, putting your kids second, where you're going to end up out on the street, it's, it's, there's no excuse. So I start to lose a little bit of compassion. Um, so we're going to go through the full eviction process here. Good content, bad for me because this is super scary. I have no clue. This is uncharted territory here. I'm educated on how to rent property, not educated on how to kick someone out of your property whenever they're not paying your rent um, and hopefully did nothing to destroy the place. So uh, this is not going to be good. Sorry for the lighting in here. Is that any better? I don't know. But yeah, mistakes were made on my part. I, I should have done a better vetting process or at least educated myself. For those of you that don't know, the reason I had to rush with this tenant, I should have said this way earlier in the video because I'm sure a lot of people tuned out and already left comments. But the reason that we had to rush so fast with this tenant is because we were only given 10 days by the bank to uh, get approved for our loan. So whenever we bought our new house or we're buying our new house, they said, you have 10 days to get a signed lease. I thought I was gonna have like two months if needed. So that is not the case. Uh, we were given 10 days to find um, a tenant for this place. And that's why I had to rush the process. Uh, so that sort of put us in this position that we're in um, and gonna have to evict them now. But anyway, that's for a future video. Uh, hopefully not as much bad news. And this goes a little bit more smoothly than I think it's gonna go. I have a feeling that this is gonna be a long process. Maybe not, but uh, I could also see this being like by Christmas time, by the time we get this guy out of here, uh, which would suck because I, there's no way I can afford my current mortgage and my previous mortgage uh, at the same time. So I don't want to sound like a money grubbing type of dude. I'm just trying to protect my family at this point because I don't have the money to cover the spread. And uh, it's it's the dude's just living there for free currently. So that's not cool. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, follow me on Instagram, rfracing717. I debut like all my content over there. And if you want to see my new off-roader, it should be either here or here. I can never remember which side the uh, the annotation pops up on, but that's my new off-roader for the channel. I'm going to be trading in the ZR2, Colorado ZR2. 
for the new off-roader here. So yeah, if you guys wanna see that, or if you haven't seen that, check it out. And that's it. Urus SVJ, off-racing, out.